Some of the South African film industry's biggest names attended the premiere of the long-awaited biographical film Ellen, the story of Ellen Pakis. The film is based on the widely publicized story of a Lavender Hill mother who killed her drug-addicted son. Much of the movie was shot in the home where the tragedy unfolded back in 2007, adding emotional texture to the film, as actor Jared Gedult explains. And so I spent, you know, I was very lucky with these friends where they were so openly welcoming me and, you know, spent a couple of hours with them and they told me all about him. And so I had a nice little foundation of who he was, but that wasn't enough for me. So I decided, okay, cool. I got one, you know, foundation of who he was, one part of his personality. And then I said, you know what, I want to spend some time with Auntie Ellen and Odnil, who's Auntie Ellen's um, partner. And I got a different side of him. And based on that, I kind of came up with the personality for him. I grew up on the Cape Flats. I grew up in Mitchell's Plain. I'm from that area. Um, I've had friends who have um, been drug addicts. I've, I've known families like this my whole life. And to me, it was very important that we show a side of the story that is not often seen, and that's the struggle that families of addicts go through. We've seen the gangster films, we've seen the films that glorify the violence and the, the you know, the, the gangsters and, and make them, you know, fierce and whatever, but we haven't seen the, the pain that they cause and the, the hurt that they cause to families and to mothers, and it's such a reality, and I think it, it was about time that we told that story. Ellen Pakis was the guest of honor on premiere night and she shared the stage with the film's lead actress, Jill Lievenberg. Our people are not being listened to. 11 years on after Abby's death, I asked myself if it was in vain because just recently another man murdered his son. And um, I, we know where the merchants are, we know what is going on in our areas, we can point you out to it, but years after year after year after year, nothing changes in our communities. And I'm incredibly passionate about this and I'm hoping that you know, if it's families who are in the same situation will, will feel um, inspired by the fact that they're not alone I'm also, and that they're, that they're not voiceless and also that people who are involved in the selling of drugs and the production of it might think about the lives, the, the many lives that they are destroying and that also our, our government might sit up and listen. <laughs> This drug can literally change the way your brain functions. The boy that Ellen was living with is no longer her son. She was a monster, pure and simple. The heart-rending biopic moved many to tears and personal reflections at the screening. My younger brother is a tech addict, so it's an interesting kind of dichotomy and like an interesting experience because going through it is the process that my family has gone through. You know, the point where you see her killing him, I think our families done that in our head to our brother. Not physically killing him, but he is dead to us. So there's a big problem. So I think it's, it did a very good job of personalizing it and showing us that, first of all, it is an illness, but it does affect other people as well. So it's quite good. To, it's easy to say it's an illness, but you, you got, for the first time, we've got to see the family behind the people that it affects. The thing that got to me most is left with a question, what do you do? What do you do? What would I have done? I'm a mother. What would I have done? Because I started out with the idea of, and I'll be honest here, started out with the idea of, I won't do it. I'd never do it. I would never be able to kill my own child. But after having watched the movie, I understand. And if anything, at least it is an ode to the Cape Flats. It is something which is opening up the problems that we have there. And I think more than that for me is being part of the industry is that we're getting something right. That we are telling the story in the right way.